I don't know. Day and I worked really well together. I think we both had a pretty deep understanding of what the assignment was. It was it was on the page, and John was, was great at helping us navigate some of those moments. The most important part of the two performances was that they tracked throughout yeah. the film. Um, and I think we achieved that. Oday, do you want to add anything? I think Eric's a really good actor, so I just had to react. My character had always been set up to be sort of a red herring antagonist and the antagonist for two thirds of the film, the primary antagonist. Um, so joining the two worlds, the before and the after, um, I think were brought together pretty seamlessly. Um, but yeah, like you said, respect to a legend. Yeah, I think, you know, Ray's approach to filmmaking was came from so much passion and respect. So I just when I had to, you know, we had to continue. That's just something that was always very front of mind for everyone just to to honor him and and remember, I you know, for me is he's just remembered as someone that would cared so much and cared so deeply and was such a pleasure to work with. So it was about um, continuing that as well. Yeah, I think the obviously the acting community will miss him, but I also think that the writing and directing communities will miss him as well. Yes. I think he was somebody that people enjoyed working with. He was yeah. a dynamic actor and a force on screen. So what's interesting is I felt like on my coverage, I Ray was doing giving me even more of that and he was just we did that scene we, we took an entire day to do that scene and um it, it i think the scene just got better and better as it as it went on everything he brought i was just again like absorbing that and and reacting to that so yeah i mean that, that was a really special day it was a, it was a really special day and i um i just felt like i was there to you know to react to his incredible work that he had done. It felt very real. To approach an antagonist or any character without judging. It's not for me to determine whether I'm good or I'm bad. It felt as if he were justified in his actions. I think Derek felt like he was justified in his actions because if everybody's doing it, then everybody's doing it, you know? I think that's, at the end of the day, the narrative he created so that he could go to sleep at night. I think when I heard the cast list, it was, you know, Eric and Ray were already attached, so I was just so excited to read it. It was also the day after I'd seen Eric's, uh, you know, iconic scene in Euphoria, and I'm like, oh, wow, it's funny, me and my friends were just talking about how much, you know, he ate in that scene. Eight is like, you know, the Gen Z term. I'm sure everyone knows it, but you know, we're like, wow, that was, we were blown away. And then I get a call from my agent, a movie with him. And I was like, yes, you know, I just was so excited to read it. For me, it was the, the story, the character, the opportunity to to play a heroine, a, you know, a, a never done an action movie to, to tackle that and to tackle um, you know, the emotional roller coaster she goes on and what it means, you know, the, the kind of hero she is and the fact that she's saving women at the end of the day also meant a lot to me. So there was just a lot of, a lot of good reasons to say yes. I like the challenge of making bad people likable. I like playing an antagonist because you get to do and say all the things you, everybody wants to do without experiencing real world consequences. And it's fun to be bad. There were other levels and layers to this character other than just um, a human being who was the opposite of good. Um, like I said before, he felt, he feels justified um, and without judgment. The challenge for me was to see if I could make this person acceptable to an audience. Shooting on a 44-foot boat 
with a crew of people is not for everyone. And that's all I'll say. <laughs> I, I didn't know I get seasick. Um, they kept telling me, let's try it out. Let's go out there. You sure you don't get seasick? I was like, yeah, I'm fine. This isn't a real thing. First day, I'm like, oh. my is green. We're, we're like 10 but minutes. Matt, yeah. He wasn't, there was like seven people simultaneously getting seasick. Yeah. <laughs> So it's like the, the stand day, by me bar for Rama going on. Yeah, Correct. I was, you know, we have our stunt coordinators holding back my hair. And from that day, I learned what drama me was. And it actually helped me sleep as well. So I was, as long as I was taking drama mean, it was really nice. It was good. But uh, yeah, I remember a, a ton of people asking me, my manager was like, do, do you get seasick? Because then you can't do this movie. And I was like, no, I'm fine. I've just never been on a boat. So I just assumed, you know, I don't. But. I think I was on a speedboat once, and it just, um, yeah. So, and I was like, I'm fine on a jet ski, you know. I'm, yeah, not a lot of boat experiences in my life. So the, I learned the hard way, um, but the Dominican Republic is amazing. You know, I just, I fell in love with our crew. Like, we have the sweetest, sweetest crew. Um, and we would go out and have dinners and, it's nice. You don't always bond like that, and that's when, like, that's what's nice about indie filmmaking. We still talk. We talk all the time. Um, uh, it was like Gilligan's yeah. Island. I mean, we were all shipwrecked on an island, literally, yeah. <laughs> together. Yeah. I did a lot of work um, on her backstory, her physicality. I, you know, I have a, I have different parts of me, and I grew up with all brothers, so I have a part of me that's very tomboyish and so I tried just the way she sits down the way she walks like all of that stuff was were things that um I thought about and also something that helped is we shot it pretty much chronologically and we were kind of losing people in the film the way you know we lost Saffron and we were losing people as who played my mom we were losing people as the story went on and I felt like I was getting physically stronger as we were filming and emotionally stronger um you know, it was in a very intense shoot. So I feel like that was, that also helped me with, with the journey of the characters, how we filmed it really chronologically, um, which, which was great. I, if you can do that, that's, I think the best way to do it.